Hello students, welcome to the class on Editorial Decode and in this class I will be dealing with a very important topic that is ease of doing business report. From examination point of view this will help you in general studies mains examination paper 3 plus this is important for public administration and economic optional students. Now first of all we need to understand the importance of this report. Importance of this report for India. Now before we understand that, what this report highlights and how important is this report all about. We need to understand first of all, ease of doing business reports purpose. Now this report is released by World Bank and already World Bank has released about 15 reports on this aspect of ease of doing business. So we have 15 years of the analysis that has been done by the World Bank. Now this report also highlights how different nations score in terms of ease of doing business. Now first of all what is meant by ease of doing business? Ease of doing business means how easy it is for a startup for a business to avail electricity connection, to avail land related clearances, to get to recruit the labor and to retrench the labor, how easy it is for a venture to exit its operations, how easy it is for a venture to enter and exit when it comes to dispute resolution. So this ease of doing business report judges various countries on these parameters because these parameters actually acts as the basis for conducting any kind of business activity. So last year India was placed at a rank of 130 in ease of doing business report in the last year's report and this year India has taken a jump of 30 ranks we have reached to the rank of 100 in ease of doing business report now what does this mean for India this means that India has improved in terms of ease of doing business at the surface this is the message that is being conveyed by the ease of doing business but we need not keep ourselves confined to the top layer of what this report conveys but we really need to dig deep in this report what this rank mean for India is this rank really meaningful or this rank contains no meaning or no substance as such now first of all it is important to know the methodology of ease of doing business report now the World Bank what did it do? It actually picks the important cities in the countries and then it goes into analyzing and looking for the rules and the regulations of the governments about these parameters about labor, about electricity connection, about land related clearances, about labor, about exiting, about dispute resolution, about arbitration etc. Now on all these parameters the World Bank basically ranks the countries but it doesn't rank the whole country it actually ranks it places the rank of a country on the basis of the cities that it selects. So in case of India the World Bank's methodology remains confined to just two cities. The number one is Delhi and the second is Mumbai. Mumbai. That is Bombay. So it is the Delhi and Mumbai that becomes the basis of the World Bank to give India a jump of 30 in the ease of doing business report. So there are about 190 nations of whose ranking the World Bank has done. So India stands at the rank of 100. We have other countries in the South Asia who haven't done that well. We have Pakistan, 
score is 147. And we have Afghanistan, the score is close to 170 or beyond that. But India has improved. But like I was talking about the methodology, now the methodology is not very foolproof. Because the basis is only the two cities, the Delhi and the Mumbai. And the second important thing about this is that we generally consider that the ease of doing business report, like it is highlighted that India has improved. It will also result in creating good business in India. And this is a flawed understanding that generally we have. That if India will be doing good in terms of the ease of doing business, it will also result in creating a business in India. But that is something that is not true. Now, why it is not true? Now, this we need to understand. Now, this is not true because business per se is not solely. Now, this word in here is very important. The solely word. The business per se is not solely decided by the ease of doing business report. Though we are creating the conditions for the easiness of the business, but these conditions are just created at the end of the government, at the end of the government and only in the rule books. But when it comes to implementation, but when it com comes to implementations, this report is silent on the implementation aspect. So this report focuses only on two cities. It focuses only on the rule book or the, what the government has to say with respect to the clearances about the land for availing electricity connection for the labor laws or etc. So this report has got nothing to say about the implementation aspect. It is silent about the implementation. So this is not something that will get manifested at the ground reality. It will be actually creating a kind of a gap. This is what government says, but in the practice, in the practical situation, it might be, the entire thing might be very, very different. So, the ease of doing business report, it might not actually result in creating a business. Because for business, you actually require investment. And investment is not solely decided by the ease of doing business report. The investment is decided by numerous other factors. Now, one of the factors is the banks. The another factor is the people perception, the global economic factors. The global economic factors. And the other factors are like political reforms. So investment is not only the summation of ease of doing business report, but it also includes the banks because like presently what we are having is a twin balance sheet problem. Because we have a tw twin balance sheet problem and for the investment for a better business to be conducted in nation, in our nation, we really need to actually improve in this domain. So it should not only be about the government rule and other things and we should actually be elaborating, making this ease of doing business reports methodology more holistic. We should actually be including more cities, maybe 8 to 9. Earlier, World Bank had promised that it will be increasing the number of cities. But till date, we just have only two cities. That becomes the basis of deciding about the ease of doing business report. What about other cities? So this is one report of the World Bank that conveys about what the government is doing and what the government is doing in only two cities. Now the World Bank will also be releasing the Enterprises Report. Now the Enterprises Report will be released by the World Bank and that will convey to the people what the enterprises actually feel about. Now, the government believes that it has brought about a change in the rules and the regulations for availing easy clearances for the labor, for the retrenchment, for the recruitment for availing power connection, etc. But does this thing seem 
implemented at the ground level or not and this could be conveyed by the enterprises report that will be released by the world bank very soon so this was all for the class you can subscribe to this channel name of the channel is brainy ias and you can also contact me at 8459-4000 in case you're interested in buying the video classes on entire civil services preparation so this was all for the day bye bye take care have a nice nice day